Zhuhai Air Show, one of the biggest military aerospace expos in the world. Jet engines, airplanes, and hypersonic weapon systems were all fascinating yesterday. The J-35A stealth fighter, which was revealed for the PLA Air Force, is in my opinion, the main attraction. Without a doubt, we will go back to it soon. We have a target to complete 50 subscriber on this channel. Help us to achieve it. Now let's talk about some of the defensive systems today, including what seem to be ground force robots. We start with a huge directed energy weapon that is affixed to a truck. The main purpose of this microwave weapon is to shoot down drones. The IRG is the ultimate defensive weapon, regulators said. The summit of the lighthouse jutted out over the track. The deployment of numerous inexpensive disposable drones has significantly altered battlefield strategies in Azerbaijan and Ukraine, leading to a surge in demand worldwide for systems that can effectively and effectively counter drones. The H-PJ-11CIWS and other short-range air defense systems, along with what appeared to be two microwave energy weapons, were featured in a promotional video from two Chinese defense manufacturers, including Norinco, a sizable planar array affixed to an 8x8 light armored vehicle serves as the microwave weapon. Additionally, a tiny rotating radar is installed on top, which makes sense for tracking and locating targets. Additionally, we have observed smaller laser-surrected energy weapons installed on lightweight armored vehicles. The 6x6 Mountain Cat All-Terrain Laser Weapon System is one example. The Laser Weapon System is one example once more. These are probably anti-drone devices, like the one shown here. It makes sense for China to be looking for low-cost ways to counter the threat posed by swarms of inexpensive UAVs on the land battlefield. Let's examine a few naval weapons. Here is the LQ-8, a rocket-assisted torpedo. It is an anti-submarine torpedo propelled by rockets. A variety of anti-ship missiles for coastal defense are installed on universal launchers. Here are the actual missiles, the air-launched YJ-83KHE, the CM-102 anti-radiation missile, the export version of the YJ-12, the YJ-12E, and the YJ-18E. This modest container is the most intriguing feature. Although it appears to be a standard cargo container, Similar to those found on cargo ships, it is actually an anti-ship missile launcher. See in figure 1.72, an enemy ship passing by, a supposedly merchant vessel, would thus be given a nasty surprise when a seemingly normal shipping container would suddenly launch a full barrage of missiles at you from a close distance. I won't speculatively discuss how this will be used because it might just be a means of deploying missile launchers but it could definitely be a nasty surprise for the unwary adversary. Remote-controlled robot dogs are an intriguing piece of ground forces equipment that is intended to assist ground forces. In fact, the Chinese media refers to them as wolves. They have various weapons attached to them. For instance, this one features role-playing games that deal with cars. Here is another with a Gatling gun. A large camera is positioned above the head for the scouting version while two tiny antennas are placed in the back for signal reception. In addition to the combat versions with small arms for fighting fires, there are specialized versions for moving supplies and equipment around the battlefield. In the past, we have witnessed a Chinese robot dog equipped with a machine gun being launched onto a building's rooftop by a tiny unmanned aerial vehicle. For the robot combatant, the drone essentially serves as a robotic dropship this seems like a plot point from a dystopian war film that takes place 50 years in the future. We have a variety of robotic or remote-controlled weapon systems in keeping with the emphasis on unmanned warfare. The VT-5U unmanned light tank, for instance, may be helpful in challenging terrain where crude heavy tanks will find it challenging to operate. We have unmanned ground vehicles on a smaller scale that can probably be modified based on the capabilities required. Several remote-controlled car turrets are shown in a different display. A few of them have air defense weapons, and one has a chain gun. Though I'm not positive, I believe the implication is that these can be mounted on the small, unmanned vehicle based on the requirements. The heavy drone used for cargo transportation is the one that caught my attention the most out of all the drones on display. The medium-altitude, multifunctional CHYH-1000 transport UAV can be used for both military and civil applications. This is the freight hold's interior. The freight hold can easily load and unload cargo onto small trucks and vans, but it's still a fairly small aircraft when compared to proper transports like the Y-20. All you need to handle cargo are sturdy pallets. The manufacturer claims that with a little tweaking, 
the drone can also land on water, though it will obviously require a means of removing the cargo without losing it. It appears that it can also carry out reconnaissance, bombing, and rescue missions in an emergency. Here is the much larger W5000 cargo drone, also referred to as the Air White Whale. It is reportedly the biggest cargo drone in the world. It can transport far heavier loads and is substantially bigger than the CHYH-1000. Its range, with 3.2 tons of payload, would be 2,600 kilometers. The maximum payload is 5 tons, but the range would be significantly reduced, 